to outscore Atlanta 37 to 14 in that fourth. And Sarah, obviously we're going to talk about Spencer Dinwiddie and his performance tonight, but how about DeAndre Jordan? Because he played that entire fourth, and it was his effort towards the end of the third, and then certainly at the beginning of the fourth on the defensive end, and then his contributions on the glass that sort of seemed to jumpstart the effort of this team. <laughs> Jump start. I mean, 20 <laughs> rebounds. He was jumping out of the arena, and he was doing a tremendous job, to your point, about just the pursuit, the energy, the multiple efforts that he had on the glass at the defensive end, it, and just the activity of which the Nets have been able to do this now for quite a stretch of initiating offense through him. So we're thinking so much about the, the highlight plays of the lob dunks or of so many of those offensive rebounds, but really his ability to be right there in the middle of the floor, the free throw line, top of the key, elbow area, Area and distribute to facilitate it allowed for a lot of movement a lot of actions for this Nets team and I'll also I know we'll get to Spencer but uh, credit to, to everyone top to bottom team win but Garrett Temple was a significant reason in hitting some big time shots that helped them close the gap of this deficit before Dinwiddie came back in the game but he really took over through a stretch that the Nets desperately needed some offense and delivered uh, now we get to Spencer okay and, yeah. and Spencer has just been as we know I mean he he has been incredible. A 39 point performance in this game. Maybe the only blemish that he didn't make it 40 with that free throw, so that he became the first player since Vince Carter for the Nets to have back to back 40 point games. But, Sarah, he did it with five fouls throughout the entire fourth quarter. And you talked about how he was able to conduct the offense so beautifully, making all the right decisions. He's got such extraordinary command. And to me, that's the word that stands out about what we've seen from him over the stretch, over the consistency, just the poise that he has and understanding of what needs to be done at what times. And you continue to watch the nuances of little plays. And yeah, he puts up 39 points, has six rebounds, six assists. But a lot of it, too, is just getting guys touches, knowing who needs the ball and just to stay involved and stay activated within the offense. And, you know, for a guy like Dinwiddie, who, who is frustrated in the early part of the game, not getting some calls, the continued attack, the continued push, and still not letting that bother him and closing things out. And there's just... A He's a player that is oozing with confidence, and his teammates are feeding off of that. And I would also say the play of the game, Joe Harris, trying to, to tell the <laughs> officials that it was actually Spencer yeah. that got fouled to try and get him that extra free throw. But as we've always said, I think the win is more important than those numbers. Now we